Welcome all of you to this competition on scientific abstract writing. Here are a few tips to write a good scientific abstract. This presentation on writing a scientific abstract is brought to you by the Department of Pharmacology, K.M. Kunnani College of Pharmacy, Mumbai and I am Dr. Vandana Panda doing this presentation. What is an abstract? An abstract is a short summary of the major aspects of work which you have put in your research article. In short words, it is the essence of the article. This is always the first section of the article. The viewer of your article will actually look at the abstract and then decide whether to read the full article or not. So, your abstract has to be precise, concise, attractive enough to grab the eyeballs of the viewer. And the abstract is the only part of the paper that is available freely. Many a time the papers are not available freely. They have to be bought to read the entire article. Now, an abstract can be of three different types. Descriptive abstract, informative abstract and structured abstract. A descriptive abstract is usually very short, less than 100 words in size and it includes purpose of the work, methodology, scope of the work and what it does not include is results conclusions and recommendations. We do not encounter descriptive abstracts in sciences, especially our pharma sciences, you will see them in social sciences. Informative abstracts, fairly short, ranging from 200 words to a page or so and again, inclusions are the same, the objectives, methods used, scope of work, and here will be put results, conclusions and recommendations if any. This kind of an abstract communicates the content of the document so that the reader does not have to read the entire article. He gets what he is looking at seeing the informative abstract. And this is the one which is usually used in sciences. Now comes the structured abstract. It is similar to an informative abstract. In fact, we can say it is a type of informative abstract where the abstract is not one paragraph or one continuous page but is divided into three or four distinct sections with headings mentioned very clearly. The first section is usually the introduction which is also called the background together with the objective of the study. The next section is that of methods or designs where the study methods are described very briefly but should give a clear idea of the kind of study method used. Results again is a very important part of the abstract which gives the outcomes of the study in precise words and the last one or two sentences of the abstract should be devoted to the overall take home message of the study and these are the conclusions. Coming to an example of a structured abstract, here we have that, this one as background, methods, results and conclusions. Please spend a couple of minutes looking at this abstract. Finally, here are some tips to writing a good structured abstract, background or introduction. What should it have? It should summarize the purpose and the rationale in one or two sentences. And the research problem has to be explicitly stated here. Then will come your methodology where you will write down the methods and the techniques 
of analysis used. Results summarize the findings to the research questions by means of statistical comparison if possible. Conclusions will summarize the implication of the results in one or two sentences. Also suggest the future direction of the study when possible or if there are some major limitations in the study you may indicate that also. So this is wishing you all the best to do a good scientific abstract. Thank you.